let's look at the requirements module requirements module is used to store all requirements related to our testing project requirements are specified in quality center by creating a requirements tree requirements tree is a graphical representation of requirements specifications something like this requirements can be grouped sorted and monitored in the requirements pane requirements can also be linked to tests created in test plan module and defects in defects module later on if a test requirement changes you can immediately identify the affected test cases and defects let's go ahead and do the following activities in the required modules create a parent and child requirement view a requirement modify a requirement so let's look in the qc in quality center make sure you are in the requirements module to define a new requirement you can click the new requirement button or alternatively you can choose requirements new requirements the new requirements dialog box opens the fields that appear in the dialog box can be customized using the administrator ID the mandatory fields are highlighted in red with an X trick the name field gives the name of the requirement the author field gives the creator of the requirement the cover status field specifies whether the test created for this requirement is failed passed or in the status the modify field specifies the date requirement was changed the priority specifies the priority of the requirement the product field specifies the product for which the requirement is created the review field specifies whether the requirement is reviewed or not by the reviewer the type field specifies whether the requirement is a software or hardware requirement Let's create a requirement with the name demo requirement. For your note, the application under test would be our Yahoo website. In the description, enter this is Click submit. The demo requirement is added to the to the requirements tree. Now let's quickly add a child requirement to this new demo requirement. To add a child requirement, click the button child requirement or select requirements new child requirements. The new child requirements dialog box and the input fields that appear here are very much the same as that for a new requirement. Let's name this requirement as child one. The description being enhance login functionality on Yahoo. Click submit. The child one requirement is added as a child requirement for the demo requirement as shown here. Now let's quickly add another child requirement to the demo requirement. The name of the requirement being child two. Description being enhance the search which not of Yahoo. Mind you these requirements are way and are drafted only to understand the tool and not actually implement the requirement. Click the submit button. The child two requirement is created and appears as a child of the demo requirement. So that's you creating a requirement and child requirements. Let's now see how requirements once created can be viewed. QC provides lots of options to view a requirement like the tree view, grid view, numerations and so on. 
Let's look at them one at a time. In the requirement modules, make sure you have selected the tree view of the requirements. The tree view is a hierarchical view where parent and child requirements are shown in nodes and subnodes respectively. To narrow down on a particular requirement, select the requirement and click view, zoom, zoom in. To move out and see the root folder, click view, zoom, zoom out. To assign hierarchical numbers to each requirement in the tree, choose view, numerations. This numbering is not related to the unique requirement ID to each requirement. To hide numerations, choose view, numerations. Let's select view requirements grid. This is the grid which is a flat non hierarchical view. Each line in grid is separate requirement. To filter the requirements, click the filter icon. Here you can choose an array of selection criteria. Let's select creation date as today. Click OK. The grid shows the three requirements that were created today. So the requirements grid is particularly useful in filtering and sorting of requirements. So that should be your requirement. Also, requirements can be copied, cut, pasted, renamed, and deleted. Let's copy child to requirement and paste it as a child of the parent requirement demo. To do this, right click on the child to requirement, click copy, select the demo requirement, click paste. Since there is a conflict in the naming, a pop-up is shown, click OK and QC automatically appends the name of the child requirement with the name copy underscore one. Let's rename this requirement as child three. Now let's cut the child three requirement and paste it as a child requirement of the new requirement. Child tree is now a child requirement of the parent requirement new requirement. You can also delete the requirement. Select child tree, click the delete icon, confirm and child tree is deleted. So QC supports requirement modification to the fullest. So that's you the requirements module.